Alrighty guys, welcome back to the Crown Qualifiers online stream. We are here uh, once again and uh, we're actually jumping quickly into uh, another game because uh, we, th we thought we'd do a round of 16 game but uh, we're just in the server like waiting for it and it's already... Or it's only six games into the previous one, so uh, or six rounds into the previous game. So we thought we'd jump into that. Anyway, got some good news. We've got a co-caster for me. Karath here is going to be joining me on TeamSpeak. Um, so how are you, Karath? Very good. Thank you, Elvish guy. A uh, pleasure always to cast alongside with you. It's been ACL Sydney since we've been doing this, I guess. Yeah, actually, it's been a while, but uh, we are going to jump right into this seventh round here between No Practice Only Dreams and uh, some other team that I don't know... I Redux. Redux, apparently, is the team. So, uh, that's what it's going to be. We'll see Pod finding himself... Pod? Or is it is it Steven? End Pod? I don't know. End Pod is the, the, the team. Okay, so it's Steven, or Fativen, even. And Benjamite will find himself another kill. Sync finds another there. And uh, it's going to be Louis, the only player alive here for the Terrace. He will go down as well. So, three rounds in the board here for the counter Terrace, Karath. Yeah, very interesting to note that the terrorists won the first four initial rounds. So they won the fourth one with a bomb explosion. And one of the counter-terrorists managed to save. And after that, it's all been the counter-terrorists' way. And the counter-terrorists have built up a little bit of a bank where the terrorists are now forced onto an ego. I haven't had enough look at their strategies, but it looks like they're setting up for an A execute right now. Yeah, it does. They've got a few smokes there in their pockets, so they might be able to use those. But Benjamite will push here into the palace. Oh, he got dinked. But well, he gets taken down, or rather gets the kill anyway. Fativen will find the uh, other entry there onto Louis Sink, another one as well. So Enforcer is the only one to be able to get a kill so far for the terrorists. And uh, it's going to be Endex once again. I mean, it was an eco round here for those guys, so I guess that's to be expected. Yeah, but they're going to have to eco one. Oh, no, sorry, the money didn't update for me. They're going to be able to buy up. The Karen terrorists will still have their one orb set up. I think they have four rifles and one orb. Terrorists, they just need to be careful of that orb towards window. Not sure how they're going to execute towards mid right now. Yeah, they do have a couple of players actually jumping out mid, going into... Oh no, one player jumps out mid, pushing up here. That's going to be Zonia. See if he can uh, get a kill. Looks like he's going to be in a perfect spot to pick up one on two. For Tevin, we'll find one. Louis, in the end, does take down Zonia on the uh, trade out. But uh, a couple of kills go across to both teams in the end of that little bout of uh, skirmishing. Yeah, and Glib in a very strong position right now to do a lot of damage. He's going to pick out and find the bomb. He gets one, he gets two. The bombs drop down at the end of B apps. Glib doing very well. I think I did play with him in the ECA game yesterday. So it's not a surprise to see him doing very well. And Endek is the last man left standing. Trying to crawl his way towards mid, but what can he do? I think he spotted Benjamite. But the bomb lost. 50 seconds left on the timer. You got to say that this ninth round will go towards no practice, only dreams. Yeah, great work there. So uh, great work, rather, from Glib to uh, really open up this round for his team. Um, Index is trying to do what he can here for uh, Redux, but uh, it is still a one on two. He doesn't have the bomb, so you know it's going to be tough for him. He's actually just going to go up here into uh, ladder room, and I think he's going to try and save there. Well. He does still have a full set of grenades. It looks like he's going for it, but he's going to walk directly into it. He spotted out the orb and by the rifle. So he knows the location of both players right now. He hasn't used any grenades and he's caught out by the flash. I'm not sure how the orper is still missing, but he must try to go for a save right now, do you think? Yeah, he's only got he's 10 seconds. Like, I don't even know why he's still going for this. Um, I don't think he can get up to the bomb and plant it in time, even if he was able to get two magical kills. So, uh... Yeah, I mean, that that might not have been the most advisable play. He will manage to take down Sync there, though, so should be able to keep that gun. Yes, he does. So, all's well that ends well, but, uh, yeah, got to question that. Yeah, a bit of an interesting play from both teams. Both the counter terrorists not peaking at the same time, peaking individually. It could have been disastrous if Endex landed a very, very good AK shot and forced on a one-on-one -on -one deal. But... Um, Glib did play correctly towards the end, however. He did move away as the terrorists are standing towards an A site. He did move away to make sure the terrorists couldn't kill him and not be able to plant the bomb. So we'll see what RDX do here as they get the first kill. Yeah, Enforcer was the one to pick that one up. He's going to charge in here. He will be traded out there, though. We do have Specker up there on T uh, on Tetris, rather. Uh, one of my favourite spots on the map. I, I'm a big fan of Tetris. Uh, we'll see Zonia picking up one kill and uh, taking it back to a two-on-three, but the... 
Uh, the player advantage, I guess, still in the favor of the Terrors here at the moment. Zonia will find another one as well with a nice spray down. So now a two on two. The bomb is ticking, though. The defuse comes out here from Glib. Louis will find the first and Specker the second. So a nice hold there from the Terrorists. Yep, so playing exactly how that hold should have been played. One sitting in Tetris, one sitting in, uh, sorry, Palace, and just setting up a very, very basic crossfire and just peeking out and forcing them into doing, you know, forcing the counter to look in different directions and just getting killed in the process. So you're just going to uh, go towards A once again. And I would say this, this is a smart decision. They branched a breach A twice now, so we'll see if they can do it again. Yeah, and uh, I mean, they're going up against a bit of a force, I guess you could say, here from the counter terrorist. There's a scout on sync. So, uh, you know, not 100% full buy for them. Uh, so, this should make it relatively easy for the terrorist, or a little bit easier for the terrorist to get in. But having said that, we're going to see Benjamite pick up two for Tiefen Finds one. A couple of trade frags coming out here for the terrorist, but it's not going to be enough as we see Sync hitting the headshot there with the scout. And, uh, wow, very quick round there, and the terrorists go down. Yeah, Terrorist might have, may have just been forcing the issue a little bit too hard. I know a site has worked for them, but a lot of them have been dependent on those entry frags. The counter terrorists just expecting it. They rotated the counter terrorists. Uh, the counter terrorists rotated all their players out of mid, and as a consequence, they we ha they have four waiting on a site. The terrorists are now just going to be hard pistol training b site. So Glib, let's see if you can hold it. Yeah, the the rush b don't stop. That's my favorite strat. Uh, people were talking about that in Twitch chat a little bit before. We are going to see Zonia here down on short in a perfect position to get a lot of frags. Only managed to get two. But uh, it's going to be Sync to jump in there as well. Pick up the second or the, the second bout of a double kill, I guess you could say. Really quick round there for the counter terrace and uh, really nicely work from... Uh, right, no, I don't even know. Words not coming out. Really nice work from them. I guess it's just early in the morning and we're still having... A LAN hangover, so to speak. It's only been a week since our last event, so... Our tongues are still warming up, so to speak. Or mine is, anyway. Alright, so fix the game audio very quickly. Um, and some grenades, I mean some smoke rather, smokes rather here for the uh, terrorists. So it looks like an execute going to come out here on towards the A-bomb site. We'll see Zonia pushing up mid. Does find Savine. I hope that's how you pronounce it, as the terrorists pushing out here from A main are going to get mown down by Benjamite and Sink. A few kills going their way, and uh, no deaths for the counter terrorists. So the gun saved. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. The terrorists have opted to pick one orb. I'm not sure where Louis is going to plan to take this orb. It looks like we're just going A again, and at this stage... It's a bit interesting because the counter terrorists are just going to push up aggressively and find information towards mid. And once they don't have anything towards mid, they're going to push up B and eventually they're going to deduce that the terrorists are going A. So I don't like this heavy stack towards A site. They do have one playing lurking position, but still, you got to suspect that the, the counter terrorists know that it's going to be an A site take. Yeah, Redux have uh, really been favoring this A bomb site so far, and it's worked a couple of times for them, but uh, other times not quite so much. As we are going to see the counter grenades coming across. Here from Fatima, he's only on one HP, so uh, I'm not sure what he got hit by, but uh, he's, yeah, a little bit worse for wear. And uh, one of those grenades here on the terrorist side might be able to finish him off. We'll see what happens. Redux are going to get a kill here, thanks to Enforcer. A nice little position from him there. Definitely caught Zonia off guard, so now that entry is in their favor. There is only one, uh, or there is one player here on one HP for NPOD. No practice, only dreams. Um, so relatively good situation at the moment for the terrorists if they decide to hit this a bomb site we'll see specker just jumping across there across the angle in palace he does chuck the molotov in towards dark as well to flush anyone out from there for Tevin, he's only on one hp he gets taken down by an orb so i guess the one hp didn't really matter in the end anyway and specker will find himself a kill there onto benjamite as well the bomb is going to go down a nice grenade coming out there tags up sinker just a little bit but not too much so we are going to see uh, a double stack here in the firebox area. Yeah, and uh, the counter terrorist, oh, Glib trying to come in from behind. is going to cop a nasty wolf shot to the face. And see, last man that's standing, they know he's in CD spawn, so they're going to be trying to hunt him down. So Specker, you mean jumping on the ticket booth. Meanwhile, they're flanking him, so Sink has no idea as he's going to get shot from behind. And the counter terrorist will have enough money to buy up towards this last round, however, so small mercies there as the terrorist will try to gather that ever crucial seventh round to try to make Mirage a bit more equal towards the terrorists. Yeah, I mean, 
I think for the terrorists so far, they've actually done a pretty good job getting those six rounds. Um, so we'll see what they can do in this final round here. Round 15, both teams have got a full buy up, so it should be a cracker. Yeah, the Kerr Terrace, once again, playing very aggressively towards mid position. They spotted out Enforcer, who, once again, playing that lurking position, is going to be peeking out, and it's going to be spotted out, so... The Kerr Terrace is just going to fall back. They've gained enough beat control. One of the Terrace have made his way towards Tetris, however. And he's going to be spotted out. Beautiful pop flash by Benjamin, once again, playing so well on this A side to get another kill. And the Terrace already down a number. Yeah, going to make things pretty difficult for them. Endex has been doing pretty well so far as well for them. Let's have a look. He's actually their top fragger, so that's kind of a big deal for the terrorists. We are going to see Enforcer take down one on the trade for Teven. Luckily, gets missed by that off shot and ends up taking down Louis. So uh, now, things well in the favor of the counter-terrorists. We do see Enforcer only on 11 HP. Savine only on 60, so uh, they're a little bit... Uh, uh, a little bit lit up. And Specker is going to be on the entry here. Picks up one kill for the Terror, so that's good. Glib, that was going down. The smoke going to come across here onto the bomb planter to keep him safe. But even will push around the corner towards Bench. Picks up one kill onto Enforcer. Finds a second to the belt on the player at Van. That was Specker. And uh, Savine on his own here. Sink is going to be able to, or is going to go down. Benjamite, though, is going to be able to, one, to, able to bleh, be able to take him down. My mouth. Please work. 9 and 6 the first half there for NPOD. So uh, pretty even so far. Yeah, NPOD a bit rough on those earlier rounds where the Terrorists managed to make their way. I think the Terrorists got two rounds that really shouldn't have gotten. The Cannon Terrorists really needed just to tighten up their hold just a little bit more. Uh, in the end, I think Redox just getting a bit too predictable in their plays. Glib, a bit unfortunate to get picked off. That was a very, very good entry frag by Specker. And now it's up to NoPod to see what they can give to us in the terrorist half. So it's going to be a very, very default 3-1 take with one lurking this A site. Yeah, they are going to charge straight towards the B bomb site. Only one player on that A, as he said. And uh, really nothing too crazy going on just yet as the scoreboard finally disappears. We're going to see... Uh, so yeah, you know, not really any smoke grenades here to work with for the terrorists, so... Uh, you know, it's going to be a bit more run and gun rather than uh, execute style. Yeah, it's interesting to see that uh, No Practice Only Dreams have used a lot of decoy grenades to sell this. And I'm not sure if the, the counter terrorists haven't rotated. There's still two with this B side, but that's no issue as they're going to be taken out by Glib with a double kill already. Glib is going to be looking for the third as Enforcer just completely runs past the bomb planner. Uh, not stopping that as Glib gets the third seek game while against the fourth frag, so there's no ace for this round. Specker manages to take down two. It's going to be a one on three with a bomb. And he's got a kid, however, but no armor. He's going to be charging against spots one to watch short as one near the box position as well as he's finally going to be taken down. No armor and just a dream. That's going to be the first round towards NPOD. Yep. Um, so that's going to make things a little bit more difficult here for Redux. I think that they already are down. But having said that, they are on the counter-terrorist side. So they have the favoured side. Should be able to pull it back. It depends on how well their A-hold is, though, isn't it, Elfish? We've seen a lot of times that the A-hold just being absolutely disastrous for the counter-terrorists and just falling apart. Yeah, we'll see what they can do here. They do only have the pistols to work with. Uh, it's going to be tough for them. They have bought up the armor, though, so uh, a bit of a force here from the counter-terrorists, and uh, it could work out well for them. We'll have to see. Interesting sort of a setup here from uh, the terrorists, though. A very, very basic anti-eco just to make sure that they aren't caught out by pistols and traveling together. This is very smart by Endpoint right now. Okay, so... They are starting to make some moves in towards those bomb sites. A few players in mid. So they've got some decent control across the map. Apartments and mid are in their favor. Of course, the A bomb site still under wraps for the counter terrorists. But uh, we're going to see someone pushing through connector. It's going to be one kill there going over to sink. Index will eventually get taken down there by Benchmark. So this is not the start at all that the counter terrorists wanted. They needed to be able to get something out of this round with that force up that they did use and uh, unfortunately for them hasn't really been the case these last two players should probably save their armor here you would expect and uh, just stay away from all that kind of fighting that you that you would see 
Yeah, I, I guess the decision is very, very smart to save that armor helmet. It's an investment you already made. And if you manage to save it, you can still do some da eco damage next round because you've got the armor and helmet to prevent the aim punch as well as just surviving that little bit of damage from the gathel. But it also allows you that if you survive the next round afterwards, you might be able to pick up a gun and you can build up your economy. So there is no dishonor in saving these armor pistols, so to speak. Terrorists win. That is and the terrorists just... Uh, yeah, and the terrorists just playing very smart as well. They're all exiting together. They're not risking a single gun. So this is really, really delightful to see in terms of a caster's view. All right. Well, that previous round has left the counter-terrorists a little short on the cash. So uh, not going to be able to buy up this round. They do have Spec and Savine on armor, or with armor, I guess. So um, those two are going to be the power players, I guess you could say, for the CTs. But... Uh, going to be a little tough for them in this round working with only those pistols we see and pod starting to push into mid here the flashes are coming out glib jumping in there with sync and they're not going to spot anyone out in window but uh, there is one player coming up through underpass as well who will that is steven or for Teven. i don't really care i can say either but uh it says for Teven, so we'll go with that sorry twitch chat Yeah, the bomb just charges his way offshore right now, and poor Endex, only with the OSP, is going to be doing 50 damage and is going to be taken down. And the rest of the counter is stuck in this A site. Might just want to save those armor pistols once again, as Feven gets another kill onto Enforcer this time. So let's see if Specker and Sajin can save their pistols and armor once again. They're hiding in just closed positions, using, utilizing the close core. Uh, Close quarter combat effectiveness of the P250. As soon as I said that, Specker tries again to an aim deal with Glib. It doesn't look good for him as he has to duck out. Yeah, once again, the pistol and armor save is the objective here for the counter terrorists, and they should be able to get out of this okay. Uh, no one really appears to be hunting them. We can see Benjamite, I guess, having a look around and seeing what's up, but um, he's nowhere near them, so they should be fine here. As the bomb will go off, and that's going to signal 12 rounds to 6 here for NPOD. So really starting to get towards the pointy end of the map. And, uh, you'd expect the counter terrorists, they really need to win this rifle round. NPOD like playing very passive, so if the counter terrorists redux at the moment go a bit too aggressive, they might bite off more than they can chew. They just need to be very careful. I've been just seeing NPOD playing passive, so and just going for that heavy mid control during the mid round. So we'll see what happens during this round. They, the counter terrorists have picked up an orb in the hands of Louis as he managed to leg sink. Yeah, bomb drop there towards T apartments just to keep it safe. Uh, don't want to give any intel towards these counter terrorists um, as the terrorists are trying to go for a bit of a pick style. They do find one, but it is traded out quickly by Louis with that orb. So uh, really, even Steven at the moment, or even for Teven, maybe if we want to go with that. I don't know. Yeah, the bomb's still not in the hands of any terrorists, and the counter terrorists have done more than enough damage to try to win this route. Savage so getting the kill on the underpass, and Specker is going to wallbang and take down Benjamin. A bit of a one on one deal happening there. But a two on four glyphs so low. Zonia, the man really to do a lot of economical damage. It looks like they're tending their way towards B site right now. The counter terrorists more than happy just to hold and play passive. Yeah, this has kind of been the situation uh, that the counter terrorists have found themselves in, oddly enough, against the, in the two on four. But uh, now the tables have turned, and uh, they are the four up against the two from the terrorists. Let's see what Glib and Zonia can do as they push out of apartments here. Get the camera onto Zonia on the entry. It's going to be whoever gets this frag. Yeah. Okay. So it's enforcer, and you have to say that's really going to shut down the round now for. The terrorists. I mean, if they had have got that entry, um, they might have been able to get onto that side, get the bomb down, and maybe make something of it. But uh, at that stage, once it's in a one-on-four, it really is uh, basically all said and done. Yeah, and the problem was there. I think Glib still had flashbangs. I'm just not sure why he didn't use them. They still had. I think both of the players had a full set of grenades. At least, very least, a smoke and a flash, and they could use at least one flash just try to enter on the side. And Force are playing a very aggressive position. If you got, it was a good position, but if you got picked off by a very smart pop flash, it could have been disastrous for Redox as they had to play a 2 and 3 retake. All of them were still an A site. But I'm digressing as Npod are going to be setting up for a very default A take. Let's see how they succeed. Yeah, one player going to come out Palace here, the smoke. 
Gonna stop that Molotov, um, and he will push through the smoke there. That's Zonia. Uh, Steven will go into Sandwich here. Savine and Endex. Oh, everyone from uh, the Canon Terrace pitching in here. And we'll see the final player. Who didn't get a kill just yet? Uh, I think it was Enforcer. Might not have got a kill this round. Yeah, Enforcer's the one that hasn't got a kill. So we'll see if he can get the fifth kill. But no, it's going to be Savine picking himself up a double. But uh, really nice work from the Canon Terrace there. All really working out. Working together and keeping, uh, I guess, each other safe. Yeah, that's just a textual crossfire. They played it safe, you know, the players within sight stayed alive, and that is so crucial. If those players in sight stay alive, the terrorists cannot plant, they cannot force their way in. They're just going to run into a three directional crossfire. And as we can see, it was a very, very quick cleanup for Redux as the terrorists now making their way towards B site. Not sure if they actually are going to take B site. We'll see. Yeah, a few players hanging around in middle, so perhaps they're going to try and take on the AWP of Louis with pistols. Probably not advisable, um, but we'll see. Glib looks like he's starting to set up a flashbang here. That is going to be the case. They're going to pop out into mid. No one actually peeking from window there at the moment. Um, we did see Louis transfer his angle towards Palace, but uh, it's going to be Endex to find a triple kill there out of ladder room. Enforcer will close us off with a double kill. And a uh, relatively standard anti-eco there for the counter-terrorists. Yeah, no guns lost as well, so this is going to be very good for the counter-terrorists as they are slowly building up the bank. So even if one round goes in the favor of N-Pod, all Redux need to do is tighten up their hold, and they should be sweet. Yeah, this uh, comeback train is looking pretty good for the counter-terrorists so far. They've picked up three in a row. Um, and they're on towards the fourth one. Wow, nice shot there from Louis. And, I mean, there's not a whole lot of grenades here to work with for the counter uh, for the terrorists, rather, either. So this should be uh, a, a not an entirely difficult round here for the counter terrorists, especially if Louis keeps hitting shots like he has been. The shoulder peak comes out there from uh, Zonia, but it's not going to catch Louis off guard. He will finally find the kill. And now a three on five here. Zonia, oh, rather, uh, Sink is going to find a kill there onto Endex. Specchia will trade out another kill. And uh, it's all going the way of the counter terrorists at the moment. Sink, the only player alive with that orb. He's trying to see what he can get done here in mid. Just peeking towards window. Will take down Louis. Um, but still, it's a three on one. And uh, he's only got one smoke grenade to work with. So you'd have to say this is going to be a pretty difficult challenge for him. If he manages to pick off Speckers on full HP and picks up a rifle and just mows down Savage and suddenly it becomes a one on one. So it honestly depends on how the counter is play right now. One within Palace, one window room and one in B apps. We'll see where... Uh, Sink wants to take this. Sink actually getting two wallbang hate shots that round already, which is absolutely phenomenal. Enforcer in a good position. We'll see if he can take him out before Sink can take him out. Yeah, wouldn't mind seeing Sink pick up a AK or something like that, but I don't know if there's any around the place. Could be dangerous if he drops the AWP now because it's going to give Enforcer real good info as to where he is. Looks like he's going to stick with that AWP, but he's not going to take the angle. And we'll go down in the end there. Good spot for Enforcer in that situation. Yep, now we're just going to head into a bit of a pause. Looks like the counter is a pause. Not sure what the problem is. Redox have made it a bit of a comeback, so it's not a tactical pause. So, Elfish, uh, what do you think the, What do you think? no practice only James is going to do right now? I think Sync just then played a bit silly and should have checked that corner. It was very default. What do you think that end pod, if you were a player, what would you do? I mean, that the AWP seemed to work out pretty well for them. Um, we saw Sync hitting his shots, so I reckon... Uh, I mean, obviously they can't afford an AWP this round, but if they save up, grab an AWP next round, um, and then send Sink in, see, see what he can get done in mid. If he can get two entries like what he did, you know, that's going to be a good situation for the terrorists, but it was just unfortunate that uh, they'd already lost a few kills by that time. So, uh, yeah, I think that'd be probably the way to go with that AWP, see what they can get done, and then, uh, you know, see how it turns out from there. All right, excellent. And so we're just, as we're just waiting towards the end of the pause and just a bit of banter going on right now between the two teams, or should I just say coming out from Specker, the game currently firmly controlled Redux. Redux hold just very, very safe. Louis just having a very strong orb towards window. The smokes aren't really nullifying him right now, that highway smoke. So it looks like they're going to have to probably just dry peek it and see if they can get the pick onto him. Meanwhile, the terrorists haven't managed to find their way into a site for the last four rounds now, so they've just been consistently being mowed down. They're going to try for another ASI retake. It just looks like they're all just going to five-man stack. We do have three smokes and a couple of flashbangs. So we'll see if this is a prelude to their buy round, and we'll see if they can win this. To you, Elfish guy. 
Yeah, they're just going once again for this four through a main, one through palace strategy, and uh, it didn't work out very well for them last round. They just got absolutely munched as they walked out there. Savin dropping a nice pop flash. He's going to actually flash pretty much everyone there from Anpod, and uh, they're going to go all down really easily here for the counter terrorist. The bomb's dropped. Only one player alive. That's Glib. He goes down, and uh, really a pretty, pretty good round there coming out from the counter terrorist, only losing one gun. Uh, and that player who did die has 10k, so uh, no harm done yeah. at all. I mean, that was just a standard A hold, really. I mean, that's and you can just command Redox and just holding on to this A site. They've done it in a buy round, they've done it in an eco round, so I'm not sure what Mpod's trying to achieve on an eco round, trying to bust it once again. Hey, look, the highway smoke's going to come up again. Louis is on point, nearly hits Sink, and Sink's going to jump across and try to out orb him. It's a sniper on sniper deal right now in mid. And Sink's gonna back off. He's a bit afraid, I think. Oh, both missing each other by the air. And the rest of the terrace just unafraid to move. It's too afraid to move anywhere right now. His window's gonna be smoked off. Yeah, Sink just trying to see what he can do here from top mid, peeking around with the orb. But uh, oh, that was so close that shot. Very close to taking down Louis, but uh, it wasn't to be through the smoke. Steven will get one though on the entry. Index almost went down to that Molotov as well on short. But uh, he managed to get out of there okay. And he's going to sort of swap places there with Louis. He's going to go into mid here. And uh, I guess play a bit of a safer angle. So he doesn't have to take as much fire. Zonia is going to push up towards apartments. And force it in his spot once again. That will be checked this time by Zonia. Almost manages to stay alive with that duck. But uh, wasn't to be. Zonia managed to find a couple of kills there on the entry. So good job to him and now the terrorists have complete control of that B-bomb site and uh, the, the change in strategy worked up a little bit here, Karath. Yeah, definitely. And that all boils down to just buying enough time for Feven uh, or Steven or however we pronounce his name to actually make his way underpass and just get the crucial kill on the CD con. And this just allows the uh, terrorists to move into the mid position. Louis has to fall back because now he's got the threat coming in from not only CT Con as Becker managed to pick up one kill. He has to save. Endex getting also another one. Can Endex get another one? No, he can't. Glib takes him out. I'm digressing once again. Endpod just getting that crucial wick frag, and that's what they really needed. And after that, they could go anywhere they wanted, and they just chose B site and forces aggression backfiring in that case. Though, so what uh, Redux needs to do now. Is just play passive, play smart. That's all they need to do. They don't need to play aggressive and try to get information when they're down one person. They just need to play passive and play lines where they can get two kills and force the numbers back into their favor. Yeah, once again, we're going to see Npod heading towards tier apartments and mid, starting to go uh, pretty aggressive out onto that mid. And it seems like uh, they're trying to, I guess, contest Louis here, get him down. Get him out of the game. We see Sync though, he's only got his AK, doesn't have the AWP. Um, so it might be a little bit difficult for him to do that. The window is smoked off though, so Louis not going to be able to see anyone. Oh, Sync, he, he almost has like X-ray vision, I don't want to say it, but it almost looks like he does. He's just been so close to hitting all these shots through the smoke, but uh, unfortunately none of them landing. And wow! Endex, did he have armor? He mustn't have had armor to be able to take 75 damage off that grenade. Yeah, but Louis is now stuck in a very poor position. The terrorists have made their way up towards Cat. There's one underpass, two on Cat. Just watching any move he makes. He needs to try to get out, but he has no grenades. So the rest of the guys have to push out from behind. Now with Spec up. Are going to team up with Savjin? And suddenly... Wow. Yeah, Louis, Louis popping out. out. A frag. Bomb is down here as well, so pretty much could not be a worse situation at the moment for Zonya. Two versus one. He doesn't have the bomb. I guess you could argue the counter terrorists are pretty low on HP, so they might be able to. He might be able to take one of them down really quickly, but they have a great crossfire set up here. Louis, he's going to find that one frag as well. Zonia just walking into the crosshair. And uh, a good round going over to the counter terrorist. So uh, that's going to reset the money bonus here for the terrorists. And now things starting to look a little bit difficult for them. They're not going to be able to buy up either this round. Um, so we're looking at going towards a 13 13. Yeah, and the momentum is firmly in Redox's favor. In that case, where they had Luigi pinned within window, they forgot about their... Well, they forgot about their flank, and they just punched him so heavily for it. They're going to go sit close towards his beast smoke, so let's see how Enforcer actually holds this time. So I'll let you take it away, Elfish guy. Yeah, they are going to head towards the B apartments. Only the pistols in their hands. A couple of Tech 9s, but uh, really, that's not anything to write home about. Thank you, STB or Saucer. 
TV, whatever it is. Go TV. I'm used to TF2. That's what they call it. Source TV in the TF2. But regardless, um, the Go TV had a bit of a, a brain fart there and uh, missed a lot of those kills. But we are going to see Zonya, the only player alive here, taken down pretty easily uh, by Specker. So the expected 13-13 result. Money in the bank here for NPOD if they want to buy. And they are going to do that. Yeah. And that was the difference between that. Zonia just faked the bomb plant. He should have just gone for it, knowing that if he died, it doesn't matter. There was an extra 500. That extra 500 meant that Benjamite, obviously the best fragger on that CC round, could have got himself an AK and just a couple more grenades. As a result, they're going to have to force up, probably lacking a few more grenades. They should have... Oh my goodness, Louis, once again, through the edge of the smoke, will pick off another one. Yeah, he's been doing pretty good work here so far for the CTs. Almost top fragging. Actually, I guess equal fragging. But even will find himself one kill here. Yeah, as we see Louis just figuring out what he wants to do. He's going to drop a grenade into underpass, but uh, it's not going to do too much damage. No no T's there. As they're starting to rotate across here towards uh, the A-bomb site through T-spawn. The bomb is with them as well. Benjamite just hanging around here in A-main, checking out that smoke, waiting to see if anyone's going to push him. Luckily for him, no one was going to do that. Enforcer. Enforcer looks like he's setting up a, a grenade here. It's a flashbang. Oh, he's going to just do a little pop flash and pop into apartments, but uh, there's no one there. Yeah, and they're setting up towards the right side. So, Specker also playing very smart. He's going to be sitting in CT. He's going to call the smokes coming out right now and try to counter flash and try to delay the bomb plant with that Molotov. But the terrorists playing so slow. They missed their timing opportunity. The rest of the counter terrorists now getting rotating out. The, the smokes might fade out before they can come in. Yeah, look at this. The terrorists have complete control of that A-bomb site. Oh, Specker does take down one, but he gets traded out through the smoke. Or oh, Glip chucking a couple of bullets in the direction of Enforcer. Will take him down. Index, though, did manage to trade him out. Now a two-on-two. Two. The retake situation. This is such an important round in the grand scheme of things. Let's see what is going to happen here. Zonya from Tetris is going to be able to do a little bit. Benjamite trading... A bit of damage with the Endex there up on Tetris. The timer is running out. Endex will pop around there onto Tetris. He finds a double kill onto the player there at Firebox. And uh, the defuse will come out here for the counter terrorist. So, wow. That puts them in a good situation. And that went down to the absolute wire the last second. Louis Yang, the defuse, and Endex doing a lot of the heavy lifting just then. That was intense. I guess. The takeaway, at least here for the terrorists, is well, I was going to say they'll have enough money to buy up, but uh, they opted to, to save here and they're going to go for the 15 15, you would expect, but might not be so advisable for them because uh, it's going to put them needing to get three rounds or two rounds in a row to be able to take it to 15 15. I think, I assume we go to overtime, seeing as it's only best of one. Um, yeah, it should be. Hopefully, someone can let us know, but uh, that would make sense. Yeah, and then we'll get the longest match in ESL history in Australia. Well, it probably already is the longest match, and I guess technically we're not ESL, really. Oh, we're, this is... This is just crown, but, uh, you crown. know, yep. still, uh, it's it's heading that way. Um, we'll see what the counter-terrorists can do nonetheless. Bit of Go TV lag coming out, but uh, it'll sort itself out. Terrace at the moment just uh, split up across the map. This grenade going to do a very tiny amount of damage there to Benjamite, but not really anything to worry about, as we are going to see a few bullets exchanged in mid-17. We'll find Zonya, and uh, Louis finds another one, as we see Specker as well grabbing himself a kill. So relatively good anti-eco round so far for the counter Terrace. No guns dropped just yet. And uh, yeah, the two the remaining Terrace will push towards the apartments. Um, not sure what to make of that pop flash. That was a brilliant pop flash and Enforcer doesn't actually get the kills in the end, but he exhausted an entire clip of M4 on two flash enemies and didn't get a kill just then, so probably can't do that on this buy round. No, certainly wouldn't be advisable. Now, counter-terrorists within striking distance, if they take this round away, will close up this best of one and move on to the round of 16. But uh, at the moment, no practice, only dreams. Still fighting. Louis, though, will find the first frag. He's been phenomenal with that orb there in the middle. It's really locked down that area, and he's going to be one of the, I guess, the star players here for Redux if they do manage to close this one out. 
Yeah, I'm just going to take a look towards this graph at the moment. He's done so much damage to the entire game. They're setting up for a default A, but already down one player. Well, they should take us through the action. Yeah, Fatima will push out there onto the site. Sink actually team killed him. As we see, GoTV having a SPAC attack. Sink will take or get taken down in the end there. So 16-13, the end result. Unfortunately, missed a lot of those frags. Apologies. But uh, that's what we've got to work with. So uh, I guess that's just how it is, um, unfortunately. But 16 Rounds there for Redux. Nice, a nice comeback, I guess. They didn't manage to pick up too many rounds.